Hey there guys, how's it going? Reaper here and I'm back with another painting video. And it's not a zombie side one for once. It's actually a Reaper Bones Mini. This is the Orc Grunt. Um, I am still doing uh, zombie side stuff. It's just, I've got a lot of Reaper Bones Minis that I need to get done before the Kickstarter arrives. So I've jumped onto this one now as well. But we primed it in our standard gray primer that we always do. And we're starting off with the skin in Army Green. Now this is going to be a quick paint job as it is an orc grunt. It's not anyone that's special. Like it could be for a level one party, something that would actually cause some threat, but for the gist of it, not so much. And that was it for the um, flesh tone. It's now on to gun metal for all the metallics. Now that we've got all the metallics done, we move on to Necromancer's cloak and this is basically for all the leather parts because he's wearing like a fur tunic, which I'm obviously going to do in a fur colour, but he's also got belts, boots, there's various straps around him, so it was just a touch up really. I also do the scabbard for his um, little dagger thing he's got. Now we move on to the main part of his armor, which is the big fur coat thing he's wearing. And this is with fur brown. Now I did also notice when I was painting this, on his shoulder is actually a bit of chainmail, which obviously I don't paint in the fur brown. I do go back and do that in the gun metal the same as you did before. That is it for the fur coat. Now we're on to the, the more fabric parts of his clothing, which I'm doing in alien purple, as it gives a bit of a nice contrast between everything we've got. This is mostly for the, I'm not quite sure what it's called. I'm going to say a skirt, because that makes the most sense. Mostly for his skirt and a pouch he's got around his white, um, shoulder. Now 
and now on to oak brown which i'm doing the furs around his boots with this just to make them sort of separate them from his main bits of, uh, bits of clothing and of course the shield is going to be oak brown because it's wood shield As you can see, I do paint over the hand that he's got on his shield because that was the main reason I didn't paint this before in the metallic as to get in between those fingers, you're going to have to paint the actual shield. Otherwise, it's going to take forever with a fine detail brush. But now we've moved on to Goblin Green and this is basically just a highlight for the skin. So tips of all the muscles, um, anything but recessed areas like knuckles on the fingers and things like that. And now onto the second metallic, and this is rough iron. And basically this is to separate the hand on the shield and the handle of the sword. Just to sort of, it differentiates it a bit and adds a little bit more color without a lot of extra work because these are just rank and file minis now. And now for teeth, which is skeleton bone. And of course, fingernails will be done with this. And with the teeth, it's not so essential as these orcs don't seem to have tusks. Not like, like I paint a lot of 40k orcs and they have tusks. Like they are massive compared to these guys. Oh, and we're doing pure red for the eyes. Um, with orcs, you can either do pure red or yellow. They both work pretty well but I'm just used to doing red with my orcs, so that's what I do. But we're on to the first wash now, and it is green tone for the skin. Now right, then we move on to dark tone for basically everything else now you could always use strong tone for this it'll work just as well it's just dark tone was the one i had to hand and i like the way dark tone looks on metallics and you can get away with it on the browns And there we go, that is it. The wash is still wet in this, um, as I'm recording this part, but it does dry and look exactly as basically I intended it to look. But so we move straight on to the black base. And with minis like this, I don't like to spend too much time with them unless they're sort of like a centerpiece mini. So like if I was doing an orc boss or something like that, I'd spend a bit more time, do it a bit more loving. But for rank and file, half hour for a mini, that's more than enough. And there we go, that is model complete and hope you enjoy guys. It's been a nice quick one and it's nice to get back to painting Reaper Bones. They are a good mini to work with because they are flexible. So you can move them out the ways and stuff as well. But like subscribe if you did enjoy guys and I will be back soon with the next one. See ya.